Amun was the most important god that the Amazighan and Egyptians had in common. Although most modern sources ignore the existence of Amun in Amazi mythology, this was perhaps the greatest of the ancient Amazighan deities. He was also honored by the Greeks in Cyrenaica, and was fused with the Phoenician god Baal, due to the Libyan influx. Details of Amun vary among tribes, with many of the stories associating the mystical figure with water, rain, lightning and thunder. Amun also became associated with the ram, and was depicted with small ram's horns, which later on became known as the Horns of Amun. As the cult of Amun grew in importance, he became identified with other chief deities, who were worshipped in other areas during that period. The horned god was highly important, and is thought by believers to be represented by such deities as the Celtic Kernunus, and the Greek Pan. Horns have been present in mythological imagery as symbols of fertility and power. This theory influenced the neo-pagan notion of the horned god as an archetype of male virility and sexuality. The horns of Ammon may have also represented the east and west of the earth, and one of the titles of Ammon was the Horned One. The most famous temple of Ammon in ancient Libya was the Augural Temple at Siwa in Egypt. An oasis still inhabited by Amazighan. Ammon might be derived from Amman which means water in Amazigh. Some of the ancient Greeks of Cyrenaica also adopted some Amazighan customs, and marrying Amazighan women. Amazighan that worshipped Ammon, fused him with Zeus to become Zeus Ammon, and they were called Nazman. The Cyrenaic Greeks built temples for the Libyan god Ammon instead of Zeus, and then identified their supreme god with the Libyan god Ammon. The worship of Ammon was so widespread among the Greeks, that even Alexander the Great decided to be declared the son of Zeus in the temple of Siwa, by the Libyan priests of Ammon. 